As Governor Ron DeSantis prepares to begin another term in office, there's increasing speculation he could make a run for president. A News 6 investigation uncovers the governor is spending more money on his travel across the state. News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval has been looking into this for months now. He's here with what he found out. Eric. Yeah, ladies, we basically took a look at the period of, after the height of the pandemic passed and before Hurricane Ian hit. We wanted to know how much the governor was traveling across the state. But here's the problem right here. The FAA won't release that information. His plane is blocked from tracking. But we got a hold of public documents that show how much of your money is being spent on his official travel. In Florida, uh, there will be no lockdowns. From right after the height of the COVID pandemic in 2021. Schools need to be teaching kids to read, to write. Through 2022. They transmitted to me at some point. New Six has covered Governor Ron DeSantis. And today we will sign HB 1557. As he flew from city to city <laughs> to hold press conferences and sign bills. He has made this part of his almost daily schedule. New Six political analyst, UCF history professor Dr. Jim Clark, says DeSantis has made travel a powerful tool in getting his messages out. He pops up someplace, often without any real advance notice. Mm -hmm. um, he has talked about a litany of uh, issues from uh, parent parental control in schools to uh, uh, budgeting, all kinds of things. And it has been extremely effective as we saw in the election. We went through all of the governor's schedules and between July of 2021 and June of this year, we hand counted 139 press conferences, 24 public appearances and 10 events that the governor traveled for. New Six investigated and according to a report compiled by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Taxpayers paid $1.2 million to transport the governor during that time period, 52% more than the year before. That jump in cost came as the price of jet fuel rose more than 100%. Taxpayers paid an additional $2.4 million for his security detail during those trips, an increase of 30% over the prior year. An independent website that does track the governor's plane showed his state-funded travel included a high-profile trip to Del Rio, Texas in July of last year. We appreciate uh, you stepping up where the federal government won't. That was after he deployed Florida state law enforcement to help in security efforts along the Mexico border. But when it came to campaigning... Hello, Long Island! Like this stop in New York in October... The same online flight tracker showed the governor did not use his official plane to get there, nor did he use it for any of the 15 out-of-state campaign fundraising trips that he made over the last 18 months. We asked the governor's office about the hike in travel expenses. Spokesman Jeremy Redfern told us the governor's travel is to conduct the state's business including meeting with and hearing from Floridians as he was elected to do. It wouldn't be right to only interact with Floridians residing in or traveling to Tallahassee. He added reducing official travel is not the solution to what he calls Biden's gas price spike, and it wouldn't make a meaningful difference. Clark says DeSantis may be starting a new trend. Governors all over the country are learning from DeSantis that you have to be constantly campaigning uh, to keep your profile up there. So I think this is going to become a way of life in Florida. So here's another thing. Where the governor goes, so does his security detail. So we asked how much money was spent sending his state security personnel to these out-of-state campaign events with the governor. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement told us they do not calculate costs per event. So there was no way of finding out that information. And they referred us back to the report that we referenced in our story there. But Jim was right. It was very effective during this election season. And, you know, it's the ABC. Always be campaigning. And that's, that's what was happening. That's yeah. the mantra. Apparently right. he's living up to yeah. it. Yeah. Eric, thank you. Great you report. Got it.